Hello my friends, in this case we want to start chapter 2 of Kitchen Cabinet Generator. I go to Perspective Viewport, press Ctrl Shift key for the Kitchen Cabinet Generator window. In the second part we have a wall cabinet and I want to draw or modeling the wall cabinets of kitchen. I must uh, choose one of the modules so I want to choose this module and press create key top depth determine the depth of the uh, top part of kitchen cabinet so I set it to 33 depth determine the depth of the uh, wall cabinets I set it to 33 with the turbine, the width of the wall cabinets, so I want to increase or decrease. Set it to 45, and the height, determine the height of the uh, wall cabinets. Uh, depend of our system, we can set it to 70, 80, or 90. So I want to set it to 90. And in the last step, I press convert to convert uh, our object to editable poly mode. And if we need to extra changes, we want, we go to a modify panel and uh, set, uh, select the editable poly mode to uh, change our models. I put it to this position. You can see we have different modules here. I want to create this module. I press create and go to these parameters. Radius determine the radius of the uh, this part of kitchen cabinets. I set it to 33. And height determine the height of the wall cabinets. I set it to 90 and in the last step press the convert to convert it to a table party in the uh, next step we have a door tab we have different type of styles of the uh, doors for our kitchen cabinets so this uh, doors have hidden uh, handles and these types uh, uh, like uh, classic cabinets doors and this type have glass for the doors I want to use this door press create and if you uh, see this uh, window only press ok ok I select this door and in the parameters length determine the length of the door I want to set it to 70 and we determine the width of the door I set it to 45 centimeters and in the last step, press convert to convert it to a table poly mode. And we have this uh, glass doors here. I want to move this object and press create here. So we have this glass window length determine the length of the door i set it to 70 and also we determine the width of the door i set it to 40 frame thickness uh, determine the thickness of the frames and i increase it you can see we have this change here i set it to 10 centimeters and Moolean thickness determine the Moolean thickness and we can 
increase or decrease it i set it to one centimeter and the last step convert it to a table polymer in the next step we have door handle here and we can determine the handles for the doors uh, i want to use this handle and press it you can see we have this handle here and i can set its position so in the next lessons we will uh, model a complete kitchen with the kitchen cabinet generator plugin so i leave it here and we have a sync tab uh, for the uh, sinks you can see we have different sinks here uh, two part one part flat mode or chamfered mode and uh, we can use one of these sinks for our kitchen so i want to use this sink and it placed in the its position in the kitchen and we can set the position of the uh, sink and in the next part of the uh, kitchen cabinet generator tab we have the focket that we can determine the focket of the sink so i want to use this select it and you can see we have this focket here we can see set its position and so on different type of the focus here and we can set it into our kitchen so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial in the uh, next step of the kitchen cabinet generator we will explain about the materials of the uh, this plugin in 3d studio max if you like it subscribe our channel in youtube and follow our page in instagram thanks a lot see you in the next lesson